This project is a 2D challenge and it requires the students to use the knowledge they have gained in four classes during this semester, this term and complete the project. What you are seeing today is the second part of the project. We are given a, a task in these 2D projects and this in this project, right, we are supposed to collect the milk carton for this um, collection point and then we are supposed to send this, uh, this milk carton to specific uh, locations which is A, B and C. There are four classes this term. Uh, what you are seeing here is based on what they have learned in the digital world course which is control systems and Python programming and what they have learned in the systems world course which is path planning, optimization and similar things. Basically for this uh, project, we applied the concept of programming. So using knowledge that we acquired over the past term for programming and also concepts from math where we have to um, yeah, think of how to plan a route. Using those two concepts, we amalgamated it and then developed the code. Currently, um, we are doing digital world projects and the, one of the main things about these things is to do programming. So by doing this programming, we are given a robot by using this robot information, um, decoding the sensor time information and try to apply the actions uh, to the robot itself. For the first half of the time, we, we were doing uh, basic Python programming learning and then the second half, we were actually introduced to the Amigo bot, which is what we're doing right here. Third level, you got like one, two, three, four, four junctions in the, inside there. So it's like a full, a small town. So you, you got collection points and then you pick up the milk then you decide to go which junction to take to your uh, destination. So in level 4, we have two collection points in the same maze as level 3. So the robot has to um, intelligently uh, choose which one is the shortest path between the collection point and the destination. The other two classes are biology and physical world. Those two classes, uh, they correspond to the first phase of this project. The students completed that phase in week 10. And that phase required the students to understand what is the meaning of the freshness of milk. What does it mean about the bacteria, how long can the bacteria last and so on. So the whole idea here is to build a complete system which includes the, uh, you know, heating the milk uh, and then putting it inside the insulator and then putting the entire set of milk cartons on the robot and delivering it somewhere. The original idea was that suppose Singapore wants to do something like this for food, for all kinds of food delivery and automatically using robots. So we actually, uh, what they are doing is building a prototype of something like that. Our group is actually one of the first few teams to finish this uh, level 4 maze and um, the experience we got from it is just um, different. You know, there are things out there in the real world like designing Google car, um, programming it to drive in the real world situations like take junctions and stuff like that. This level 4 experience is really close to that. So before we took out to the real maze and try out the real robot, there's the simulation part going on. So on, on the computer, we actually tried out all the possible scenarios. And, but what we find was that when you move on to the real situation, things are different. So you have to adjust, readjust yourself, your program to the real um, situation that you're facing in the real world. Um, once you get over that level, then you're, you're just fine. Whatever they learned in the classroom, they actually applied that on the computer using a simulator. So what you're seeing here in the robots, they've actually done this work on the simulator. In almost all cases, the students are able to make the robot work on the simulator. But when they come here in real life, the robots don't work the way they work in the simulator. So it is very tough and then we spend about, uh, very, about one day and one night to figure out state A and state B. But once we finish station A and station B, for station C and station D, it's nearly it's about the same. We just need to recombine the actions, so it will be much easier for us. I learned a lot from this. and. It's, it's a tough project, but I enjoy it very much. From this project, so because it's a group work, so we learn how to work with each other. And even though times are sometimes quite hard, we still uh, we will be very patient with each other and 
basically try to integrate everything that we've learned so far. So it's a very enjoyable experience.